evening. Oh, yeah. I'm watching Kevin and Perry. Lisa, I have recorded it. We need a... Okay, I can't drink, but you can. I can have non-alcoholic cider. Lisa Owen, me and you need a Kevin and Perry night. Or we just wait until my treatment's over. And then we can have a drinky. Poo. Um, oh. I've just taken about, what, about 45 minutes ago? 45 minutes ago I've taken my new um, Zoom Off, I think it's called. It's a new slow-release morphine because I don't do MST in 13 MG anymore. Um, fair play, the woman in the pharmacy that's connected to the doctors was so nice. She says, you know, if you can last until tomorrow, they'll be in tomorrow. The, they didn't have any of the zoo morph left, sorry. So she said, you know, if um, if you can last till tomorrow. Sorry, guys. <sighs> Two minutes. If you can last with the pain until tomorrow, I'll have more of the zoom off in tomorrow. Or well, however you pronounce it, and I said, No, I really can't. You know, I'm not sleeping through the pain. So she told me to go to Boots where um, um, they, um, they had it. But she had the audacity to, and I mean, the pure cheek to ask me if I've been taking painkillers and why I was taking these. Listen, if I'm being <laughs> prescribed that higher dose of a prolonged morphine, two seconds. We have poorly children at the moment. We have Aria who's got a bit of a cough. And there's me who's got a very high temperature. 38.9 this evening they gave a calpo and about four well she came back down four hours later and it had gone down to 38.4 so I gave another dose of calpo and she came down about 45 minutes later yeah and it had only gone down too so but she's gone to sleep now but anyway what I was saying was the woman from Boots had the, the, the pure cheek to ask me if I if, why I was pretty much on that dose. Now listen, if you've got someone come to your counter as a pharmacist and they're on that kind of level of pain relief, you can guarantee that they've tried all the other ones, you know. Doctors don't hand these types of painkillers out like, oh, you've got a headache, here we go, take them. Take 40 milligrams of it, yeah. No, they hand them out to people who are in severe pain. So that was out, just outrageous how I got questioned on why I was having that type of medication and I had to explain that I'm a cancer patient while there was a line of people. I was extremely disgusted. Um, but listen, if, if, if I'm taking 40 milligrams of a so, slow release morphine you can guarantee that I've tried the other ones. They haven't just put me on that out of, you know, ooh, let's try that. You know, I had to explain that I'm on these kind of painkillers as well because I'm not just on a slow-release morphine. I'm on oral morphine. I'm on zappins. I'm on um, ibuprofen. ibuprofen. I'm on anti-itch tablets first thing in the morning, then another type of anti-itch tablet that stops me itching throughout the day and the night and helps me sleep at night. I'm on iron, iron tablets. I'm on MST. vitamins. I'm not on MST anymore. This oh, yeah, today. Say, yeah. So, you know, it's not as if I'm new to taking tablets. I'm one of them people that doesn't like to take painkillers. As a rule, I hate it. I hate feeling like I'm not in charge of my own body. That I'm, you know, zoned out. I hate when family come over and I'm zoned out. Like today, I had a lot of family come over today and I just was not 
my normal self. And for that, I do apologise. Even though Dad was going to tell me, don't bother apologising because they'll tell me off. But, you know, I was quite upset when I got questioned, to be honest. I never get questioned in the pharmacy by my doctor, mainly because a few of them know me there. And um, they wouldn't dare question someone about... You know, they, they, the doctors know what they're doing, especially the doctor that I saw today, Dr Stewart. He's a brilliant doctor. I think him, Dr Shan and Dr Lauren are my three favourite doctors. Not because they give me pain relief. It's because today I had questions that I wanted answers to. And he took the time to very much answer as much of my questions as he could. He explained stuff. So he took... He took time in trying to answer what he could. You know? You know, he explained the pain relief. He explained what could happen in the treatment. He explained what could happen after the treatment. You know, I find him a very... Doc he's a very thorough doctor. You know, he doesn't mince about. And he, he knows what medicine you need, what medication you need to take... He knows the dose you need to take, you know. He started me off on, um, he actually started me off on the 10 milligrams of MST. So, you know, it's not like he, he isn't new to my, to my, um, condition. I say my condition, it's not condition, it's an illness. It's a bloody disease that needs to bugger off. But it's not as if he's new to it. He has treated me for it before. And straight away he took one look at me and he knew I wasn't messing about, I wasn't making a scene. So he upped my dose to what he thought would be adequate for me. I do think I might need that 10 milligrams so. Daryl told me to take the full 40 and I didn't. I've taken 30 to start with thinking that that would be okay. And I'm still in pain. I love you Daryl. Mm -hmm. Can you get it for me? What? My medicine box. I've got a little DIY box. A little handle yeah, on where it. Where is it? In the kitchen. Yeah. In a few minutes. See, good fiance I've got. Bloody good fiance. All jokes aside, Daryl, you are brilliant. Why not? He doesn't let me do anything. He watches me. Not in a creepy, pervy, fiance way but in a I'm trying to look after you and keep you safe way a lot of girls can't say what no a lot of girls can't say that they've got what I've got yeah mm -hmm. I've got a good man haven't I you do Debs you should be proud your son is a he's pinching his nose at Prince Charming my knight in shining armour in Marvel armour um, yes, people, if anybody is free on the 29th of September, and this is for anyone who watches my blogs, it's not, it doesn't just have to be friends, um, it can be people that I know or have seen and who want to, my mother-in-law is doing a coffee morning in, um, a caravan park in Dinesdinshire, um, I will screenshot. Macmillan coffee morning. Yeah, it's a Macmillan coffee morning. It's a proper um, Macmillan coffee morning. She's got all the. Um, oh, I'm watching um, Kevin and Perry, and it just got to that poo part. Anyway, it's a proper Macmillan coffee morning. She's got the whole pack and everything for it. Um, we're gonna make some cakes. I'm gonna make my chocolate cake, the one you, you've seen in my blog this morning. I'm making that. She's going to make uh, her banana cake, I think, her barra brace. Steve makes some outstanding buns. Steve, I bet you can turn them buns that you make into iced buns with a cherry on top. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Anyway, so 10.30 10, 10 in the Morva Lodge. Holiday Park or Caravan Park in Dinestinka, we are doing a coffee morning in uh, to raise money for Macmillan. 
Um, so, you know, if you can make it, please do come on. You know, please come along. Don't think that we don't want you there because I don't physically, haven't physically met you or I don't really know you. Strangers are just people you haven't met yet or friends you haven't met. I said that right, didn't I? Yeah. So please come along and, um, yeah, meet me, M meet my family. You know, you can meet me in person. Not like I'm unapproachable. I'm not, I'm nice. Um, but yeah, I'm going to say goodnight now because I want to watch Kevin and Perry. I like this movie. It's getting to the part where I was kind of watching downstairs. But I kind of paused it and I'm not. And I took the dogs to the field. So yeah. Um, so once again, please give this video a share. I, I can't stress how much it is. Very important to get your cervical sweeps, your smears, sorry. I'm proof as to it can happen to any age. So remember to get your smears, girls. Book in five minutes of that weird willy shaped tushy opener. Yeah. Five minutes of discomfort with that saves five I'm going through five weeks of treatment. Some people could go through months, some people go through years. Five minutes of discomfort saves a hell of a lot of heartache and upset and stress and pain. Anyway, enjoy your night tonight and I hope everyone has a good night's sleep. Let's hope I do, and I shall speak to you all tomorrow. Hope you all have a good day. Night-night.